let me tell you about a few affordable photo accessories that just might make some inexpensive photo gifts. The first is this strap from Peak Design. It's both adjustable and removable. There are times where you want to remove the strap from your camera, especially if you're using it on a tripod or maybe you just want to be more discreet. Sometimes I'll remove the strap from the camera and attach it to the lens mount uh, on heavier lenses. They have a mount built in to the lens. This is a 0.75 inch strap. It starts at about $40. It comes with these um, anchors that you loop into your camera and they snap in and out really quickly. Uh, you can do a one-handed. This is the 1.3 inch strap and it's about $50. And adjusting these is it's a one-handed affair. Um, it's really great in the winter time, especially. Um, you know, I'll throw on a heavier coat and with the extra bulk, the strap, it's, it's much more constricted. And with just, just you know, one hand, um, you know, you can loosen or tighten as needed. I also use Peak Design's 1.8 inch strap. That's really great for when I'm carrying something much heavier to help disperse that load a little more. That starts at about $65. I also have a few of these archetype quick release plates from Peak Design. I keep um, a couple of these strap anchors attached to all of them. I have them on the bottom of my cameras. I have them on the tripod mounts on my heavy lenses. When I'm using a heavy lens, I usually connect my strap to the lens instead of the camera body. This just helps keep the weight off the camera body. It kind of reduces the stress on the camera mount. Related to quick release plates, if your tripod doesn't have a quick release plate head, you can use these little adapters. They screw in with a standard tripod thread and you place your quick release plate in there and you clamp down on it with this here. And they're about $20. You can find them for even less. Next on the list, cheap SD cards. A cheap SD card is better than no SD card. And for under $10, you can find tons of options. Now, I know that photographers, well, we can be very finicky about what media cards we like to use. We tend to have a favorite. But these are the kind of things that I would stuff in maybe one or more bags or maybe in a glove box just to have in case of an emergency. A cheap SD card is better than no SD card. Next is this UHS-2 SD card reader from SanDisk. It has a USB-C connection, but I've used it just fine using an USB-A adapter. And you can spend more on an SD card reader, a lot more, but you don't need to. This $25 SD card reader has been by far the fastest I've encountered. Okay, another inexpensive item are these air blowers. And a lot of photographers don't have these, but they really should have one, not just one, but they should have multiple. If photographers can get in the habit of using these in between lens changes, blowing off the sensors, blowing out the inside of the lenses. They really can save themselves a lot of editing headaches. You can find these things for under $10 and all the brands pretty much perform as good as one another. And they come in various shapes and sizes. A larger one's gonna give you a little more oomph, but a smaller one might be more appropriate for some folks in a bag. On a similar note, I think you can get these packs of lens wipes very inexpensively. I think they're about, five, six dollars for a package of 60 or so. You can also find the reusable microfiber cloths for about the same price as well. That's it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any tips, suggestions, comments, please leave those below. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.